Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use multiple background images on a single HTML document. So to get started we're going to open up Dreamweaver. And the basic setup that I have here is an index.html file and a style.css file. Now these two are linked together with this link tag here in the head. Now if you're not familiar with how this works, basically it takes and links the HTML to the CSS. So um, if you haven't used this before, make sure and watch in HD and uh, copy that down. For most of you who have already used this, uh, we're just going to proceed. So in order to actually take and put both of our background images um, on the same element, we're going to need to create that element. So I'm just going to be using a div, so I'm just going to create an opening and closing div tag. And then the head div tag, um, I'm going to take and do space ID equals, and then we can just take and put in um, an ID that we want. So you can name it anything. I'm just going to call it double underscore background just to keep it um, descriptive. So now I'm just going to copy that, and that's just about all we need for our CSS page. So I'm just going to, or for our uh, index page. So I'm going to save that and go over to our style sheet. So now basically we just need to hit pound sign, and then I'm just going to paste in double background then put open curly bracket, hit enter a couple times, closing curly bracket. So now we've basically linked this to that div over there. So it's um, linked up with that ID. So now I can just take in the save that. And what we're going to do is first start off by actually making this thing uh, have some height and width because right now it's just um, an empty container. So we're just going to say height and we're going to say colon, and then we can put in the height. Now, my largest background image is 561 pixels tall, so I'm just going to put 500 pixie, 561 pixels and then a semicolon, and I'm going to hit enter and put width, and if you have on code hinting, basically, um, you can just hit enter um, after you kind of arrow down onto what you want. So I'm going to be using that quite a bit here. So I'm going to say 855 because that's the width of that larger image. So now that we have that, um, you still won't be able to see anything if we preview this. So we actually need to take and put on a background image. So I'm just going to say background, and we're going to go down to image. Now basically the way this works is it's just background-image, and we're going to go to browse, and it's going to pull up our images. And I have a basically just a green kind of background, and then I have this little block image. So I'm just going to grab this green background because that's the larger image. And it'll just take and paste that in there. So it's URL, open parenthesis, and then the path, and then close parenthesis, and then you'll have to hit a semicolon. All right, so what we're going to do now is we can specify a couple other things about that. So I'm just going to hit enter and say background, and then we can do dash position. And then I'm just going to take and put center on that, and we can hit a semicolon. And then lastly, we want to take and not have this be repeating. Um, so we're going to go down to background dash repeat, and I'm going to have a colon, and then no dash repeat, and then a semicolon. So because I'm using that code hinting, um, if you're using a different program besides Dreamweaver, um, just again, make sure you're watching it in HD, and you should be able to read everything that I've shown. So, um, we should actually be able to see something now, so I can take and save that. We can go back to our HTML and preview in Google Chrome. Alright, so what we've got here is basically our background image showing in that container that we've created. It has some weird padding there. Um, definitely just the default stuff on the body. So if we come into our CSS page, we can just say body, open curly bracket, close curly bracket, and then inside of that we're just going to say margin, colon, zero pixels, and that should actually fix that. There you go, it's gone. So now what we can do is maybe just tidy this up a little bit. We can center this in our stage. So I'm just going to go back into our double background um, class, or uh, ID, and I'm going to hit enter. And what we're going to do is just say margin um, left, and then set that to auto. And we're gonna say margin dash right and set that to auto. And I've used this trick in my videos before. Basically what this does is if you have a width set and you use margin left and right set to auto, it will take, and when you preview it, it'll take and center that item. So now that that's centered on our stage, what we're ready to do is actually take and put in our other background image. So I'm going to go back into Dreamweaver, and now what we can do is add this um, actually fairly easily. So what we can do on our background image is after um, our parentheses, you may not have ever seen this, but what you can do is hit comma and then space and you can add some more parameters. And one of those is basically adding another image. So what we can do is actually add our blocks in. So we're gonna click OK. And so it's added in that path for our blocks picture. So if we hit save, um, we should actually be able to see this. Um, 
theoretically. And But if we refresh it, we can't see it. Um, it's actually showing, but it's actually technically underneath this green image. So what I'm going to do is show you how to fix that. Basically, the way that this works is the first image listed is going to be the one that's on top. So if you think kind of layers like Photoshop, um, this is going to be layer one, and this is going to be layer two. So it's technically on top of the other one. So what we want to do is take and I'm just going to cut this and we're going to paste it in front of this one, put our comma back in. Basically, we're just taking and switching the position of those two things. Okay, so once we've taken and done that, we want to make sure that we take and uh, don't leave any parentheses. So everything should look just like it was before. So we'll have our URL here, a comma, and then we'll have another one that looks just the same except a different path. So what I'm going to do is go back over here, and as long as we did that correctly, we should see our blocks. So we're doing everything correctly. Now let's say that we didn't want these two to be centered because currently both of them are centered. Now the way this works is basically um, Dreamweaver or just HTML and CSS in general will look for the thing that's in front of the comma and match it with the thing that's in front of another comma. So if we wanted to match up our blocks with a special position, what we're going to do is take and just put maybe bottom so we can put the blocks to the bottom, comma, center. So basically what we've got here is the bottom matching up with the thing above it. So before the comma matches up with before the comma, and after the comma matches up with after the comma. So the blocks are being set to the bottom, the background is being set to the center. So, or the basically the green image that I'm using for a background. So now if we take and go back in here, this should move to the bottom. And it does. So that's basically how you can take and use two background images on the same thing. Um, the reason I'm showing you this is because um, I've used this before. It's definitely very helpful. Um, sometimes you will try and put a div inside of another div, and for whatever reason, you just can't get it to work out with an image on top of another image. So you can take and try this as another possibility. Um, so I have used it. It's definitely helpful um, if you're having some issues. So um, background images on top of other background images um, in the same element definitely a thing in CSS. So I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. I do have a new video coming out every week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week with a new video tutorial.